we are cleaning out the ashes from our Pacific Energy wood stove. Please join us for this review of a shop vac ash vacuum and first time use. Hi folks, hi friends of GBL, the old church, five acre homestead, recently bought this shop vac ash vacuum. Going to use it to clean the ashes out of this Pacific Energy wood stove that Miss Betty and I have here at the old church. The last time we were here, which was last weekend, we had this wood stove fired up to warm up this old church. Yes, that is correct. Miss Betty and I bought an old church a few years ago and we've been restoring it and we've been renovating it into a retirement home and homestead for Miss Betty and I to retire in a couple of years. This old church is going to become our permanent home and residence. Now, this Pacific Energy wood stove, we need to clean out today. And as I said, we purchased the shop vac ash vacuum right here. And I'm going to unbox it today and use it for the very first time. And you are welcome to come along and join us as we use this uh, shop vac ash vacuum and see if it is up to scratch to do what it says it is supposed to do, which is suck out all the old ashes from our wood stove. Now, here's a caution. The ashes are supposed to be cold, and in fact, the ones in our Pacific Energy are cold. This fire has not been lit since last weekend. So it has been seven days since we've been here at the old church. So I'm gonna suck out all these old ashes from this uh, Pacific Energy wood stove. We're not gonna discard them though. We are actually gonna keep the ashes afterward for our vegetable garden because our vegetables love ashes. Ashes are great for growing vegetables. And if you wanna know how, well, check out an earlier video on our YouTube channel, GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. Here are the basic components in this shop back. Okay, it comes with the basic component, which is the shop vac itself, here you go, with a, with a power cord that plugs into a regular outlet, and it comes with a hose, we have that there. It comes with a couple of attachments and a filter unit, okay? So that's, that's the basic element of this shop vac. And as I said, as a caution, you have to make sure that your stove ashes have been out for a, quite a while, like several, several days. It cannot be any hot cinders uh, in your stove to suck them out and put them in this vacuum cleaner. And I had the vacuum ready to go. So let's fire up this vacuum and suck out these old ashes from last week. Like I said, there are no live ashes or any embers or cinders in this stove right now. This stove has not been lit in over a week. And we're getting ready to fire up this vacuum. Let's just press the power button. Hear me over the noise. Okay, so I decided to take off this little connector here and just use the hose by itself. For a brief uh, for a brief minute uh, just to touch base with you and to tell you how things are going uh, most of the ashes in this stove here now in this Pacific Energy uh, uh, Summit wood stove has been cleaned out there was there was a few large embers as you can see here a lot of coals that are too large to go through the hose so I just laid them here on the ledge okay, I've turned off the uh, the shop vac right now and I just laid them there as I said Okay, I'm gonna finish sucking out a few of the last few particles inside this stove now, and then I'm gonna get ready to fire it up. But as far as the shop vac, ash vacuum is concerned, I think it's done its job. It's done its job. So I'm very impressed with this shop vac. 
Ash Vacuum. Getting ready to clean out this firebox here now, folks. It's pretty much all clean, but I just got a few more steps to go. And so I'm gonna fire up this uh, shop vac, vacuum, hash vac. Here we go, last two steps. So, with our Pacific Energy wood stove all cleaned of its ashes using the ShopVac Ash Vacuum, it is time now to fire up the stove and to sit back and relax and enjoy the fire. And also, enjoy a bit of music, I suppose. It's time now to say goodbye and to thank you very, very much for watching this video. Take care, folks, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so.